welcome back to the channel today we're doing our round of 12 review this is going to be a longer video format um, instead of a short like we do with the round of 16 so we can discuss a little bit more so after a crazy roval crazy first two races we're now here in the round of eight we got the standings um, Chase Elliott got the win to advance at Talladega so that ended up ended up wrecking at the end of that race so that helped out which I don't know how the points would have been like if he didn't um so getting eliminated Alex Bowman got eliminated um due to the concussion so unfortunate for him hopefully we can get the next gen cars fixed uh, for this upcoming season and we can have a good finish to the season as far as health goes um so we read off guys that made it, Chase Elliott, Joe Logano, Ross Chastain, Christopher Bell, Ryan Blaney, William Byron, Denny Hamlin, and Chase Briscoe. So as it stands, if the um, top four, Chase Elliott, Logano, Chastain, and Bell, top four in points, so heading to the next round, these four will be um, on the bubble, but it's really not even uh, much of a difference in getting eliminated, so... Um, mainly want to point out for getting eliminated again Bowman unfortunate due to concussion symptoms um, and then we got let's see here Austin Cindric looked like he might have had a chance there towards the end um, some strategy but eventually he uh, he stayed out and didn't work out for him he spun and that kind of bashed those hopes Daniel Suarez looking solid um, but they had issues all day and not able to pull it out in the end. And then the main one we noticed here, Kyle Larson, the defending champion, he uh he's out um after I guess he hit the wall. I think he bent a toe link. It's been a while on pit road and then um it's, uh pretty much he just wasn't able to get those points back and then about five laps to go, I think it was, we had the caution come out where Elliot was leading by about four seconds over Almondinger, and then that ensued a chaotic restart, and um, that gave the chance for Bell, all these guys to get more points, be closer to where they can gain positions or lose positions. Um, so Chase Briscoe ends up getting in, um, had to be aggressive at the end, but he made some good moves, able to get in. Not by a whole lot, though. Um, I know it was pretty close. It ended up being two points. <clears throat> but good job by him. Hamlin. He's kind of quiet all day. Didn't really do much. Same with Byron. I know he spun out towards the end. Blaney. But the race winner, race winner Christopher Bell, in the must-win situation, he comes through at, on the end on the restart with first Harvick. He comes out with the win. And that put a shake in the standings. Um, I'll enlarge this real quick so y'all can see a little better. Um, that was the standings when Larson was on pit road. And he, you know, you know, there he had a good bit of a cushion, but that was before that caution happened. And eventually, you know, rest happens, and Christopher Bell again able to pull it out. Going versus Harvick on that final restart, um, got the edge. He had the faster car, I believe. Um, it was a wild restart, the one before that. You had Elliott Almendinger. Um, I think Almendinger took him wide, maybe. It's hard to tell. I didn't watch much review of that. And then um, you had uh, Harvick, I think, nudged Almendinger out the way. So that gave Harvick the lead. Then Bell chases him down, takes the lead, and then he just finishes the race. A lot more happened in there. But I'm not going to name every event. Um, but all that really matters is uh, Christopher Bell pulls it out. He's in to the round of eight. He just tied hopes lie. Wasn't looking very good. Season may have been saved by a ad coming on the track. I'm not sure how that got there, but it did. So, I'm going to search here what races we got next round. So, we got Las Vegas, Homestead, Miami, and Martinsville. So, Las Vegas could go many ways. Logano might could pull that one off, but it could go many ways. Same thing with Homestead. Can't really point out a favorite. 
Um, Martinsville, you got a couple. Um, that's going to be interesting. Last race before the championship. So let me know what y'all think will happen. But um, it's going to be interesting. So if you come back over here. I mean, you obviously expect Larson. I'm going to pull up my predictions. Advancing to the round of eight. Larson, Logano, Hamlin, and Elliott. And then uh, Kyle Busch, Ryan Blaney, Ross Chastain, and Kevin Harvick. So Bowman, I did have going out here. Um, I had Bell going out here, which was looking likely until the uh, win. Byron does not go out here. Um, he does make it. And Reddick went out earlier. Um, Chase Briscoe does get in. I had him going out in the first round. And he's surprised in the playoffs. I don't know that he's been great, but he's, I guess, put together good enough runs to get here. So, if I redid this, there could be a bunch of things I would change. However, we got um, three, five right out of eight, which ain't too great. Um, Briscoe, Byron, and Bell, as opposed to Larson, Harvick, and Kyle Busch. So, some of these you couldn't really expect. So, other than that, I don't really have much. Um, so, let me know what you guys think for the uh, round of eight. Who you think is going to advance the champions for? Leave it in the comments below. Um, and I'll try to react to them. However many we get, I might just reply to it. So, let me know in the comments, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.